Oh, hello, as I mentioned in the last video, we're going to be making a very simple shoe. So this requires minimal tools and it's largely a glued sole and it's just simply stitched around. So the leather is wrapped over the last and then just stitched around. What I want to do is actually pull this shoe apart to actually see how it's constructed. And you can learn so much by obviously dissecting. I can probably use quite a few of the components later on. So I'm going to try cutting basically the upper away from the sole. Which the advantage of pulling one of these apart, you really do get to learn how it's all put together. And I'm going to start by trying to break some of these stitches. I'm going to see if I can cut those and start to prise it all apart. And start to see what's where. So I have to be very careful, I've got a very sharp knife here. So I am able to cut straight through this line of stitching. How this has been made is the leather has been shaped presumably over a mould and then they've left this like doorstep of leather all the way around and they've simply just stitched down into another piece of leather which is exactly what I would aim to do. And yep, here it is. You can see I'm managing to cut around this part. I'll carry on because I just want to separate the upper from the sole. You can begin to already see it's a fairly simple construction, all of this, because inside you've got the uh, inner sole with a, like a bit of leather and then a bit of foam padding underneath. Right, we have lift off, <laughs> literally. So that's what it looks like inside. You can see as you look inside the shoe, a bit more how they're constructing it. So we have a heel stiffener at the back here. We have a cloth lining with a bit of leather trim towards the top, maybe plastic trim, but it's leatherette. Classic Derby type construction with the tongue all in with a vamp. Yeah. And then you've got cloth padding on the inside here. And the top has been literally just put, pressed around the last and then flared out on the sides and stitched through. And looking at the sole here, it's obviously got its inner sole, which has this leatherette type cover and then it's just glued down and it's glued onto a sheet of thin leather. The upper has been sewn onto this thin sheet of leather. It's only about two and a half millimeters thick. It's not very thick leather. And that's obviously all been shaped and pressed and glued onto this artificial crepe type sole. So that is a very straightforward construction. Quite interesting just seeing how this outer fits over my last. So sole wise, that's fairly good. I think my last is a tad longer if anything. And that's the sole unit again, just out of interest. I'm just gonna take the quarters off to see again how this has been constructed. So it's probably safer to use a little seam ripping tool for this and just try and pull it apart. Interesting enough, they've used some glue to tack this before sewing, which is what I would normally do. These seam rippers are quite good because they're a fairly safe way of taking a, a seam apart. So now you can see inside the shoe and there are no metal eyelets, there's no reinforcing other than this backing of, I think it is actually leather, there's a backing piece there. That's the heel stiffener, which is cut just where the shoe back ends. It's folded a little bit under, as you can see it there. So that probably holds it in place at the bottom and it's been double stitched on. So they're obviously 
on all the stitching using double needle machines. So actually you could reuse that heel counter. It's perfectly good. Um, the back seam, you can see they've got this like whipping stitch going up the back there. And of course they've sewn on this outer reinforcing piece with the tab. That's quite a nice construction. I quite like that. So you could have this, you could perhaps maybe even loop that to make it a bit more of a pull. But that's quite nicely done. It's been reinforced with a cross stitch at the top. So it is a very straightforward design. At the toe, I'd quite like to open out the toe and find out what's going on inside there. I think all the lining here, it's just, yeah, it's glued with a not particularly strong glue. The toe stiffener, you can now see I've exposed it. It's this fabric material here. So I can pull that whole lining off and you can see the stiffener there. So that would go that way, obviously. That gives you a toe box. So again, it's between the lining and the outer. I would just use leather for that. But obviously in the factory, they're using this synthetic material. The whole leather here is lined again with cloth just to give it body. And it's quite interesting where you've got the added pressure on this corner. So where you've got the side of the shoe coming in onto the vamp. They've backed it with a bit of this PVC material, which is stuck down to give reinforcing on the stitches. The tongue is lined. So that actually probably tells me all I need to know about the actual way this is being constructed. So I think for this simple shoe project, one can emulate a lot of this, but I will just do it in all natural leather and um, keep all the materials natural as I have them to hand as well. This will be quite useful as a pattern guide. As I say, on a later project, not for this project, I don't intend, but on a later project, I could reuse those sole units. I can use the shoelaces, obviously, and I can use the inner liners. So there's quite a lot of this shoe I will be reusing. I may even at some point challenge myself to find a way of using this leather for something quite good fun. So it will get recycled in time. But I hope that's been helpful to you as well. So in the next video I'll be making up the pattern. I'll be a lot wiser now as to how this has been constructed and looking back to the first shoe project there are a lot of sort of similarities you know the stiffener at the heel, the stiffener around the toe. So one can do things there to keep it simple but um, yeah, make it a bit easier. So this whole project, you could hand sew it quite happily if you wish to. Anyway, we'll see how we get along and I'll see you in the next video. And if you want to follow the series, please make sure you subscribe. Okay then, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.